normal life has been postponed. Across the country, in every city, every town, every village, every home, people are focused on hiding from an invisible foe. People are a bit subdued. Yeah, there is a little joy. You know, they seem to shut you off, lock you up. I can't bear the thought of that. It's completely asleep. It's, it's, it's just, it's quite unpleasant, really. It is an emergency that demands we do the opposite of instinct. Antisocial is the new social. Don't come together. Don't offer a comforting hand or a hug. Keep your distance. The human touch may be your enemy. What's your dilemma caused by the coronavirus? What you do Where once there were certainties, there are now questions and dread. What sort of precaution and measures should be taken place to, to enter those properties? People are struggling to work out routines, to cope with the practicalities of a world that feels like a new place. And then ensure that they are shut into a separate room well away from you. The radio phone-in is more than a show these days. It's almost citizen's advice, a social service in a world desperate for answers and for company. There's incredible levels of communal stress and people just not sure what to do or where to go or how to react. They're still changing the guard in Windsor. But everything is changing. Being in step with a new rhythm of daily life means doing your bit to protect others. That might be delivering food to those without, caring when you can. But the Queen, distancing herself from her people in Buckingham Palace, is demonstrating that self-isolation is not selfish. In the spring of 2020, it may be your duty. Take practical steps of love for other to diminish your fear and to demonstrate your faith. A storm is coming, and we must build our defences for winds which will buffet and blow for many long months. It will be the test of a generation to find the great in Britain and stay united in our island kingdom. Mark Easton, BBC News.